Hello, I'm Arnez, and this is Rising Thunder, a fighting game from a company known as Radiant Entertainment. They've built a fighting game that's completely free to play, and it's built from the ground up for online play. So if you plan on playing this like single player and on your own, as I tend to do with a lot of fighting games because I'm terrible, then it's probably not gonna be for you. And that doesn't mean you should at least play it, because I believe what they're trying to do is make a fighting game more accessible. I think they're trying to do what Skullgirls did, but slightly more so, if that makes sense, because Skullgirls is a pretty... You can go into Skullgirls with not too much fighting game, you know, skill, and you're not gonna be completely horrifically terrible at it. I mean, you've seen me, I'm not, I've, I can do very brief combos, and I'm absolutely atrocious at fighting games. Despite the fact I love them. Uh, so I get the feeling this game is trying to do something like that. But um, currently it's in closed alpha. But you can sign up for like a code on their website. Which I'll have a link in the description. So you can go and see if you can get yourself a code for yourself. Because it would it's recommended to be honest. Because it's a bloody fun game. So um, let's just jump into it. I'm not going to play ranked just yet. I am going to try. And by going to try I mean I'm going to fail hard. And I'm gonna, and you're gonna enjoy watching me. You may not even enjoy it. You may, you're gonna watch me get my ass handed to me. Hopefully, they put in play a match at some point because it's nice to, you know, fight real people and not be ranked for a change. But you know, and um, you know, it, it'd just be a nice addition. But first of all, let's actually get into the, get into the game and see what we've got. But first of all, before we actually get into it, we have six characters. So, yeah, okay, I can count good. So we have, we have Dauntless. Hits hard and fast with explosive punches. Dauntless normal attacks are better than average range and damage. Use her armor, use her armored rush punches to fight from close range. Okay, not so fast, got some nice health, got some attack, got some technique, got some defense. So you get a little overview of how well they do. And you can change their loadout of what abilities you want. So you can have kinetic deflect or kinetic advance. I believe these are like, ten, and that's your ultimate if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah, and then you've got, and then you've got these which are your specials and then this. I don't fully understand the logos just yet because I've been playing the game for what maybe 15 minutes. All I know is you can you can change your moves, but I haven't tried to yet because I'm just <coughs> sorry, didn't mean to cough. And I've just been trying to get to grips with how the characters play and all that. So first of all, we got Dauntless, piloted by Sam Cooper from the USA, Vamos a and it's uh, from Mexico who pilots Chell, who is a gunner, which means she's probably more ranged. Sets the match pace for a long-range assault with plasma balls. Chell balances a long-range offense with quick hitting attacks and a defensive uppercut. So maybe she's a bit more of a zoning type character. Who knows? Uh, we got Kinetic Advance and Spiral Eclipse. So obviously they don't have that many moves you can edit quite yet because the game's in closed alpha. What are you expecting? The thing has disappeared. That's not good. Okay. Okay, there we go. I do like that when they're from that place, they actually, you know, speak the language. Or have an accent, it just makes things more interesting. Uh, not very fast, not very much technique, but her, her offense and defense is on point and her health is meh, okay. For Athens. He, did he just say for Athens? Okay, yeah, so you kind of disproved the point that everyone speaks the language that they speak on the country they're from, but that's, that's fine. That's fine. I, I do still like the fact that they speak the language. Like, if he's from Greece, he's gonna speak Greek. That's pretty cool, just saying. Imposes his thorough through... Sorry, I'm reading that wrong. Imposes his will through armored, hard-hitting attacks. Talents is brutally effective from short range. His up-close grappling attacks gain armor as they are charged. So, something like a Zangief, maybe? His health, really high attack, and everything else. Just a bit meh. He's, he's tanky. He's a tank. Uh... Crow, from Korea. Sets up Minjoy's... I'm, I'm going to stop trying to pronounce the pilot names because it's, it's just going to be bad. Sets up his opponents with deceptive attacks. Chris Plasma Disc can be thrown at multiple angles. Use them to break down your opponent's defense. Basically, you onslaught your opponent with ranged attacks. And he kind of hit them hard in the face. He's got tons of technique, speed, bit of speed, plenty of defense. Not much of attack or help. So, you know. Man, Devil's Halo. He's got some nice Fog of War. Soul Cleaver. I probably should have looked at the... This guy as well. Spartan Rush Magnetic Buster. That's nice. Okay, right. On to... On to... On to Vlad from Russia. 
Achieves victory <laughs> through air superiority. Ah, so he's an air type player. Vlad's jetpack allows him to approach and attack at surprising angles. M plenty of health, plenty of attack, some speed, and some technique. Sputnik torpedo <laughs> cosmolet lift off, clobbering rush. Nice. And he has nothing to change except connect, reflect, and kinetic advance, which everyone kind of has. And then the last one. Edge, apologies for the delay. Sometimes it has a weird thing downloading uh, loading the characters. Sun Li from China. Confuses the opponents with superior speed and agility. Use, ga use gathering storm to power up Edge's uppercut and unleash devastating combos. Who's got a nice attack, nice amount of defense. Uh, not technique, sorry. Speed and a little bit of health. Any other? No, just okay. So some characters probably are more fleshed out than the others. Like, I believe Dauntless probably yep. has. No, no, she's not particularly... Okay, regardless. So there's there's the characters. I'm going to take a quick look at all of them, just because it seems more fun. Uh, start off just with... Just tell me who to hit. Yeah, just start off with Dauntless, I think, at first. Should be fun. This is just training, so, you know, if you've ever played a fighting game before, you probably know... Sorry about that. Uh, the recording software went a bit weird and kind of stopped doing what it was doing. Uh, if, if you're wondering what the end, end of the sentence was, it was pretty much was. If you've ever played a fighting game before, you know what the training mode is. You literally go up against a, 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 another player which has no AI unless you let it have some, basically. Make, I mean, you can have it crouch and do stuff and stuff like that. But regardless, we're not here to talk about the AI. We're here to see what the game is like. So we've got this lovely, we've got a nice, got a nice little background. You can move the analogs. I'm using controller, by the way. You can use keyboard and mouse. Let's see. However, however you want to play, but I like I like using a controller. One, it's quiet, and two, it's just I'm way more used to it when it comes than a keyboard. So we got so we got light attacks. We got medium. Then we got heavy. Some heavy. Bosh, bosh. There you go. You walk back. You block. Walk forward. You don't. We've got that, which is one move, which you can charge. I did not know that. Okay, so if you hold a button, you charge. Okay, very cool. Hello, phone. Nice to see you. Okay, cool. So we have sort of we have one of our special moves. Then we have a second one, and then we have that, which is a third. And then if I press this button, you prop your ultimate. And as you can see, uh, what what may you be the reason? I believe people are saying this game is supposed to be more accessible for fighting game players is because you can do your special is activated by you pressing a button. So so you've got none of those, you know, like Hadouken motions or anything. You just you just press a button and then it goes off. And then you do what you will. Also there's a throw by the way. Which button is it? There it is. There we go, got a nice throw. There we go, simples. So it's very you know, sort of noob friendly. For someone who isn't, you know, used to, like, the fighting game motions or something. Like, because for new players, man, trying to figure this stuff out can be pretty bloody daunting. And then for old players trying to figure out how to fucking do combos, then, well, that can also be pretty difficult as well. But that's just because I suck. Oh, I can... Oh, do they have variants in the air? Ooh. Okay, cool. Okay, some I can do in the air, some I can't. Okay, so this one I can, the other two I can't. My ultimate, I certainly can't do in the end. So, as you can see, it's a fighting game. You do attacks, they combo, stuff happens. La da 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 da. And then, I wonder. See, this is the problem with me in fighting games. You, you, you try and figure out just how much. I end up doing the same move over and over again until I realize, until I figure out. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe those two would combine together, and then I try forever. And even if it doesn't seem like it should, I don't really give up. Okay, what's what are you like? Oh, very nice. So Dauntless is pretty fun. Dauntless is, Dauntless is, about, is a nice bot to um sort of have a quick start on. I think she, she she's a nice introduction to the game to figure out what the hell you're doing. But um, we're not here just for Dauntless. I want to try out some other people. So, for some bizarre reason, I can't hit the start button on my controller and do this. So, I have to hit escape on my keyboard. But that's fine. Right. So, for some reason, Dauntless is second. Let's go Edge since he's there. 
Hey, hello, Edge. I'm so glad you made me wait. Do, 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 do. Bonk. Sorry about that. Interruptions beckon. So, this is Edge. He's kind of like Samurai Ninja dude. Okay, so he's got, he's got this, which does not charge. He's got this, which it also does not charge. And he has a little dash. Does that go through so I can pop round? No, it does not. Okay. I presume that's probably to do a follow-up. Then... Oh, hold on a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Why is my sword glowing? Just hold on. Just hold on a minute. What the fuck did I just do? Okay. 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 Very cool. Okay. So there is, um. I believe there is dash cancelling, if it's called that. I don't know what it's actually called. Whoops. As I was saying, I believe there is dash cancelling. I'm just not 100% on how... See, it's that. When you get, like, this blue sort of thing, I believe... Yeah. There we go. See? Okay. Okay, there's also a bounce, which I don't really know. I can Holy shit! Okay, so by the looks of things with Edge, you can charge your blade up by doing certain moves. Yeah. Yeah, see, look, it's kind of like a dash cancel type deal. See? Are you seeing this? Ah, use the edge of the bottom. Okay. Okay, so you have... So that bar at the bottom is like a dash cancel. Okay, so now we're both learning. We're both learning. This is good. And now my blade's charged. He seems to do... Okay, so with the edge, when your blade's charged, you seem to... If you hit the button more than once, you'll do... Ah, okay. I don't know how it charges, though. That is what confused me the most. How does it charge? Is it just by attacks? Me doing this? Okay, maybe me doing this. Do I have to wait? Okay. It's me doing moves like that. Okay, interesting. So, if I do this... Okay, okay, okay. Uh, okay, so, with Edge, if you do his first one, it'll charge up the blade. And then, if you spam the button on this one, he'll juggle more, and then you can use that for a dash. Ah, and you can do different attacks with your dash. Aha! Okay, Edge is looking cool. I'm liking Edge. Edge is cool. Oh, okay, so with Edge, you have to follow up with some kind of attack with his with his dash, or else you don't do anything. Okay, okay, very cool. And then, okay, so he's got a bounce if you do that. Interesting. Whoops, wrong button. And then you can, okay, cool. Juggle one out of five. I presume that means you can only juggle them five times before they drop to the ground, so it's, you know, you don't have completely ridiculously, you don't have complete ridiculous combos. To make your opponent's life like the most stressful thing ever. So let's try this again. So, la da 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 da. Okay, I miss that almost every time. Right. Uh, okay, so. Edge. Bloody cool. He's interesting. I think it might take a little, a little bit of time to. Okay, so you actually have to hit your opponent. To charge it. Can you do it with this one? No. You, you, okay, so only this one charges your sword. And then can I? No. Okay. And this one if you spam. And then you can... Okay. By the looks of things, yeah, you only get one juggle and these out. Right, okay. So Edge is very cool. I like Edge. Edge and Dauntless. Both two characters. Very fun to play. Let's move on to the next one. I'm going to stop and start the recording just because... It removes the weird loading bit where I'll just suddenly stop talking because because fun loading soft because fun fun recording software that's why I'll be back in a minute with someone and this is Chell Kel Shell Chell no idea 
But this is Chell. She has some weird hair thing going on. If you go forward, she has an infinite sort of dash. If you go back, she does some weird, weird thing. I have absolutely no idea. You can't hold it. You can't. Okay, regardless. Right, so we have... We have that, which is her general shot, which... Which... Okay, so... As soon as it hits a target, its cooldown is reset. Interesting. I may have missed. And this one is like... The ultimate kick in the face. So, this. Okay, so we do that, and then we can juggle. Okay, let's try this. Maybe I can get the fireball off. No, I failed. I'm terrible. I presume you can do this in the air. Of course you can. Can you do this in the air? No, you can't. Can you do this in the air? No, you can't. Oh. Oh. Oh, dear. Yeah. Oh, dear. I don't really like Chell when compared to Edge. She's not my kind of character. It may just be because I'm incredibly newbie. But she's not my kind of cup of tea. Let's see a grab. That's not a grab, that's a heavy. Whoops. Uh that's not a grab. Okay, interesting. And your special, I presume, is yeah. Okay, you kinda remind me of Doldrums. Damn it. Come on. Okay, let's try it with this one. No? Okay, no. No, okay, not so not so easily comboed, apparently. Hmm. Okay, she's interesting, but she's not my kind of character, I feel. I haven't nearly spent as much time as I did with her on Edge or Dauntless, but she's just she's just not my kind of character. She's interesting, but not not really for me. So I think I'm gonna move on to the next one. This time, we have Crow. Bro, looks kind of fun. Uh, okay, so is first special. Okay. Interesting. Okay, interesting. I have no idea what the fuck this does. <laughs> I have no idea what that. Okay, so base. Okay. Okay, so is heavy kind of launch. By kind of, I mean it does. Okay. Okay, so Crow. Crow's looking pretty cool so far. And that may just be the fact his fire effects are dope. Which is the stupidest thing I've ever said. Did he... Does He sounds like he says Undertaker. He might. He's. I believe he's from Korea, so I have no idea what he's actually saying. But... Slicer. I understood that. I don't know what this does. Does it slow them in the air? No. I don't know what this does. That's kind of... It's kind of difficult. Okay. It's kind of difficult to understand. It's, I swear that sounds like Undertaker. What does this do? What does this... I don't understand. Does it make me invisible on their side? That would be cool. But it's kind of hard to demonstrate that, to be honest. No, I can't. Okay. I think it may make me invisible, but it's very hard to tell. Yeah, have one. Have one. And then bonk. Nope. Oh, damn. 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 Okay, so... No, hold on. And then... Oh, whoops. I wonder. Bollocks. Okay, hold on, hold on. That, fuck. That, that, that. No, okay, that doesn't, that doesn't combo. That, and then that. No, bollocks. Ah, kind of disappointed these don't follow. Okay, let's try it one of them invisible. La da da da. No, okay. Let's find out what is all this. Okay. It's pretty cool. It makes juggling him pretty bloody easy. I'll give you that one. 
if you can figure out how to juggle this guy, I think you're gonna be okay, to be honest. Bugger. I can charge it. I can charge it. Oh, that's cool. Okay, it can be charged. And then, okay, can I... Ch okay, can I charge this? No. Can I charge this? No, of course I can't, because I don't know what the bloody hell it does. Uh, okay, and then we go in. Okay, so interesting. Interesting. Crow's pretty cool. I... He looks pretty cool. He feels pretty fun to play. I don't know anything, like, n nearly... Barely even basic about him, let alone... <laughs> let alone advance. But seeing some players who are actually good with characters like this is going to be super fun. Because he's got the charge, and he's got, like... See? Shit like that. Which it was by complete accident. Looked pretty bloody cool. And can I do... Nah, I can't dash. Ah, but if I can dash... Cancel, though! He's also in the corner, which isn't helping my point. But regardless, Crow is very cool. Definitely looking forward to see how well some people can play Crow in the future. Definitely. Definitely cool. Definitely a cool character. And also... That's, like, full screen by the looks of things. Let's try it again. It's slow, but it's also full screen. Very cool. On to the next one. And this time, I'm with Talos. Let's see what he's got. So he's got a weird... He's got a weird sort of dash thing, which isn't much of a dash. Oh, wait. If I hold it, he goes for... Aha! Uh -huh. So if I hold it, he... Okay, he keeps... Bloody hell! And if I dash backwards, by the by the look of the light, I presume he gets super armor? <laughs> okay. Okay, <laughs> it's an interesting forward dash. It's not aerial and it's not... Okay, he's got... His back, his back jump is definitely faster than that, but you don't get super armor. At least I presume it's super armor. So we got... Okay, now onto his moves. Basic light. There's medium. Basic heavy. Which is just a push by the looks of things. Fuck off! Get away from me. Oh god, sorry. <laughs> I was just here to put... And you clap in their face as well, even better. Hmm, nice. Okay. Okay, so... Oh my, okay. So if they're close enough, his charge pulls them in and he goes in for a grab. Okay, very cool. So he's got grabs like Zangief. Yeah, good luck escaping that one. You don't have to charge, you can do it instantly. That's an aerial grab, which is kind of difficult unless they're jumping. Can I make him jump? Uh select kinetic a chant, no. I would I do quite want to know what that actually does. To be crushed. That was an evil laugh. Okay, so I have no idea what kinetic changing the kinetic channel does. Uh, opponent doesn't really matter to me. And he will stun. Short cooldowns. Short cooldowns are actually quite nice. So like super. Mm. Nah, okay. So by the looks of things, you can't make the AI, you know, do like jump up and stuff. Maybe if you plugged in a second controller or something. Or maybe whatever. But regardless. Touching the keyboard is not. It's only my character. So unfortunately, we cannot try out his aerial. Wrong one. Whoops. Yeah, you don't have to charge. You can't just, you can't just grab. And his last one. Okay. Okay. Oh my. Okay, so. So in the middle of a combo, I can pull them towards me. Okay, very cool. So I can do this and then. Okay. Okay, very cool. So we got blah, blah, blah. Okay, so basic combo. They pull in and then smash him in the face. So if you double tap, he'll do that. If you do the one, he'll just get pulled in. So you can... Oh, you can't grab him. Oh, you can. Okay. Okay, so... Is this... Okay, no, it has to be relatively close. 
Ground. Okay. Interesting. Grab. Smash. As you can tell, he's a grappling character. Yeah, and if you double tap, you're, you're fucking clothesline. Beautiful. Nice. And he laughs about it, which makes it even better. Knockout. He finds it hilarious. I love it. I love it. That's quite a bit of damage as well. Oh my. That is, that is unfair. Right, so this is Talos pretty much. Interesting, he's a grappler by the looks of things. I don't really play grapplers well or at all. So I'm probably not going to play like any of Talos. Because he's just not my kind of character. But let's have a look at his ultimate again anyway. <laughs> prepared to be... He says prepared to be crushed, sounding like he's Arnold Schwarzenegger. And then, to end it off, crushed. Beautiful. Now, on to the next one. Uh, I can't remember his name, but he's Russian. And he's a sort of aerial fighter. This should be interesting, to say the least. Well, uh, my game may have crashed for one reason or another. I was I was loading up a video to check to see if I had gotten the order right in which characters I was playing and then the game just refused to work anymore. So I had to reopen it and now I'm back with Vlad. Of course he's called Vlad. And I've got me a good old mirror match. So we got a nice little nice little light attack. That's less than an attack, more of a point. Oi. Sit the Fuck down. Go on. Sit down. <laughs> okay, enough of that. As you can see, Vlad has a jetpack. As he is the aerial oriented character. Uh, I, so, by the looks like he's a super armor as well. Uh, his, his, his thing is not so impressive. So, we got that. We got bonk, bonk, bonk. Okay. And we, got, we got a nice heavy. He's got a. He's got a fat boy slide, apparently. Heavy, heavy chop. And I presume that's some kind of a sweep. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so here's some weird upcut thing. What did he just say? Spudnika. Spudnika. Okay. Okay. Props to his voice actor. He's awesome. Oh my, okay. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's try this again. Sputnik. Okay, that's just fun to that's just fun to hear. Okay. Do 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 and then by the gut. And then Okay. Hmm. So if you have an opponent coming towards you, you can charge it and then, you know. Rocket jump them in the face. Okay, so we have. Okay, interesting. I presume if I double dash in the air, no. Okay, so there is some way to knock one of these people into the air. There's got to be some way of knocking them into the air. I'm not sure what it is. Okay, let's try that again. Except this time I want to try and follow up with something. Okay, so you can follow up after Spud, Vlad's. Nice. So after Spudnik, uh, this is not Spudnik. So after Vlad's ultimate, you can follow up with at least this one. And it does actually prove the fact what the... Uh, something out of five juggle means. It means if you go over five juggles, they will drop and the combo will end. So, no more locking people in the most BS juggle in the world. Ah, oh, fuck, I missed it. Gosh. And then, see? Once it hits the five, they drop. They're out of the combo. So, it looks like aerial characters are going to have to be a lot more careful with their juggles. Because it's it's not, it's not going to be happening this time, apparently. I missed. Please. Damn it. Okay. 
guys, try some. Bugger. Okay, apparently that doesn't count. Oh, you can get it with that. I wonder. Come on. Bugger. I'm okay, I just want to see if you can get the uppercut and then the Sputnik will hit. Nope. Mm, definitely not. And his grab. Okay, so that is all the characters. For now, anyway, it's an enclosed alpha. They could add more. They could develop them a little more. They could have new stuff to them. They could have new moves. They could have all sorts of alterations, Mason. Oh, we can do that aerial. Interesting. Okay. By the looks of things, most characters can do their, like, first special in the air. By the looks of by, by what I presume. At least that's from what I've seen so far. But, um, yeah, that's Rising Thunder and all its characters, at least in training mode. I do plan on trying out Ranked because I really want to see what Ranked play is like. And just because this game is really fun. I'm, I'm normally, like, completely terrified of, like, um, online play, and then recording it makes it worse. But, um, I'm gonna try and go over that fear just because this game is incredibly fun. And at least three of the characters I really enjoy. Uh, Dauntless is super fun. Crow is pretty cool, although I can't really do much with him. But I'd like to see and try and figure some stuff out maybe in my off time. And Edge. Edge is just fucking fun. Although it says he's the only hard difficulty character, but strangely enough, he's really fun to pay. I'm, I'm sorry to say, but he is. And Chell, I just... Chell... Chell, Talos, and Vlad, I'm not a particular fan of, but, you know. Other people, they might be built for them. Not not really me, to be honest. They might be one day, but for now, definitely not. So, um... Do one more throw. Bye-bye. So, that was Rising Thunder. I hope you enjoyed, and, um... Look forward to some rank play because it's gonna be shocking, but I'm I'm looking forward to it. So until then, goodbye.